no, no, I'm the caliph. And Sophronius goes, you've just conquered Iraq and Syria and all of Palestine minus Jerusalem. How is it you're so poor? And the caliph goes, we're not doing this war because I'm trying to plunder anything. I'm a humble man with humble needs. And then Sophronius goes, why aren't you riding the camel? Omar goes, that's my servant on the camel, and we take turns so that neither one of us gets exhausted. At this point, Sophronius is like, oh, what? who just conquered us? What are these Marxists? And he says, okay, I want to talk to you about our surrendering the city to you. Omar ibn al-Khattab says, why don't we do this? All Roman politicians leave Jerusalem. You just go. And you can take anything you can carry. So you can take gold. And Sophronius goes, okay. I mean, that's reasonable. That's actually more than reasonable. I just assumed you'd enslave them and take their gold. <laughs> and then what else? And the caliph goes, oh no, I was thinking that's it. And Sophronius goes, wait a minute, I am really confused. So when us Romans capture a city, we enslave a segment, we plunder the city, probably a little bit too much there. We might even burn some of it, just for grins and giggles. And then we declare it to be ours. What about that? No, 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 we're not gonna do any of that. No plundering, no no enslaving, we don't do that stuff. And then Sophronius goes, oh, but you're gonna like seize property in the city. The caliph goes, no, we're not gonna take anybody's property. We're gonna leave the city exactly like it is. And Sophronius goes, there's nothing to negotiate. Yeah, we surrender the city this instant.